Okay, everybody, so I've been doing a bit more uh, mob hunting, trying to get more um, ender pearls. Also, welcome back to another Minecraft video. And I am actually getting really good at um, that move right there, jumping over spiders and then attacking them from the rear. And also, getting music discs. I just got another music disc called Blocks. So I haven't heard this one yet, but... Yeah, I'm getting a lot better at fighting the mobs, which is good because I want to get some experience in fighting mobs um, when I fight the Ender Dragon, the Ender Dragon. So that'll be uh, very useful. Let's see if I can get a hit in before he dies. Oh, I did, so I can get some XP. Um. <clears throat> So, yeah. Uh, anyway, this episode, I don't know what I wanted to get done. I think I'm still going to focus on some Ender Pearl stuff. Uh, getting a few more Ender Pearls, and I'll show you this move again. Let me just hit it with my fist once so I can... I got a bit more speed so I can show you this. Let me just aggro this spider. Yeah, okay, I'll show you my move that I do. Ooh, right over you. It's uh, it's pretty helpful. <clears throat> Probably my favorite move. It's funny, because this trip, I actually ended up uh, killing around six Endermen. Like, I saw a lot. I think I saw three over the, by the waterfront, one up on the mountain, two over there. And yet, only one Ender Pearl. And I'm just tearing up my jungle because of the, uh, or my desert because of the creepers uh, 29 minutes see if I can make it home back to my base with 29 seconds sorry not minutes 29 seconds of sprint wasting time see that skill right there I think I still got it six seconds to spare we are good Um, mobs are still doing this thing, but I haven't reinstalled Minecraft yet, so I really don't know what that's about. Any slimes first? Let's check if we got slimes. Um, I think when I do my monster hunts, I'm actually quite close to the mob spawner. And I'm actually giving them enough space where they can, uh, because I'm coming back and forth, um, they actually have enough time to spawn. What the f Frack. Oh. That's strange. Um, they actually have enough time to spawn, and then... Uh, what am I trying to say here? Yeah, they have enough time to spawn, uh, because I'm right there. So, that's kind of neat. Ooh, do we have an Enderman? Must have fallen into my water, then just teleported. I saw where his path went. Maybe we can find him. I'm worried about my pick breaking here pretty soon. So when it does, we're definitely going to have to make a new one. But I've had this pick for a few episodes now, so it's taught, it's treated me well, definitely, for sure. Uh, had some good times with that bad boy right there. Oh, why what, did I just do that? I thought I was eating. Must have hit my three key. So, yeah. Um, automatic melon farm is, like, awesome. I love it. I just walk in, go to the end, grab all of them, and then just walk around, pick all of it up, and a few of them fall, but, you know. Oh, darn. 
Yeah, see a few of them fall, but I don't know, it's not that uh not that big an issue to me, so. It's just a few melons. I mean I got a couple stacks from that, so. I think I'll, what I wanna do I'm actually not gonna tell you. It's a secret project, but you can look forward to it in a future episode. So yeah. I'll do a bit more Enderman killing and I'll be back in a minute here. Alright, so it looks like let me just pause that video. Looks like we got a uh, some slimes here. So I'm gonna go check on them. Sounds like a big slime. But I could be wrong. It hasn't gotten out, so it's probably uh it's a medium slide medium sized slime. I'm okay with that. Okay, just lagging a bunch here. Alright, three slime balls. Sweet. I actually wanted to do something. Um, I think that secret project that I was just talking about, I might do it today actually, so we'll see. If you're lucky. Okay everybody, so I think I will do the project today actually. Um, now, you can tell by the title of the... Uh, the video what the project is it is called melon island yes it's gonna be a giant island in the shape of a melon well not that giant and it's where I'll be holding all of my melon seeds or sorry not all my melon seeds all of my melons um because at the moment um I don't really want to hold them in my inventory uh to be quite honest or like in my chests and whatnot because it's just taking up quite a bit of space so I have a list of the stuff I need and I'm just collecting all the proper necessities now so I need eight pink wool so that's perfect don't need any black wool no purple no cyan alright so these wools that I have in my bottom inventory are what I need plus these Sands, smooth sandstones. Um, I need 12 smooth sandstones. So I think we have all the blocks to make some smooth sandstone. I really hope I'm not on hard. Oh god, there's one of those doors up there. one here. They'll burn soon enough. So, I think what I'm going to do is get all the wool I need. When I have all that wool, I will go start on the project. So I'll see you on a second. Okay, so I'm just gathering wool here, and one thing I'd like to bring up is I keep getting subscribers who don't actually have YouTube channels. And, um, if you want your, uh, if you want your name on one of the sheep, uh, please make a YouTube channel and just PM me once you've made it, or uh, even like leaving a like leaving a comment on a friend's YouTube channel or something, just saying what you want your name to be, and say you're part of the subscriber. Say it on this video, not another, because I'll get confused if it's on another. Um because I've been quite confused recently because I keep getting I know I have 17 subscribers but unfortunately I can only add a couple of them because lots of them uh, their YouTube channels uh, are not actually yet made they're the like uh, temporary channels that you use until you make one or something I don't know I don't I don't really know understand it too much but it just says YouTube user or like my YouTube channel. Uh, I don't know. It's weird. So anyway, if you want your uh, your name on one of the sheep, um, then please PM me. This one has not grown forever. This is the one I need to grow. 
I need one more of this guy, light green, and it won't grow. Anyway, if you'd like me uh, to put your name on one of these, let me know and tell me what color you want to. I have light blue left, I have light green left, I have... Oh no, sorry, this is pink, this is light green. Unless that's pink, I don't know. I'm color deficient, so don't come to me asking for color help. But, oh, two of them have grown. I'm wasting time. Or wasting wool. Not technically wasting time, because this is technically time that they could be used, that could be used for them eating. Oh, you are my favorite. Who are you again? Phoenix. I love you, Phoenix. Phoenix, if you watch this, your your sheep's the best. It regenerates the fastest. Actually, it's probably a lie. I'd say the black one regenerates the fastest. He tends to eat a lot. It's weird. Anyway, he's a fatty. He's my black one. Nine life gamer. I know him in real life, so he's a fatty. He's not actually a fatty. His name's Daniel, I think. So anyway, yeah. I uh, just wanted to bring that up to your attention. So, let me keep gathering wool, and I'll be back when I have all my necessities. Okay, so, got all the wool ready, and all of the blocks. And I'm going to turn this on peaceful, uh, just because I don't want to be getting attacked during the building of this. And, yeah, I'll keep those shears out, because that's the tool you need. Um, stack of gravel. It's a useless block that I don't need at the moment. So, whoa, and I have tons of it, and I'm willing to spare it. So, anyway, I think I'm actually going to sleep first, um, just because I don't want, um, I want to be able to see what I'm doing. And, um, another thing is, I don't know how I'm going to light this, to be honest. Um, I don't know if I should use, like, torches or glowstone, what I should do. So I'm going to grab some glowstone and some pumpkins. Or some jack-o'-lanterns, I guess. Um, so yeah, basically... What I want to do... That looks like a banana. Never noticed that. Um, <laughs> what I want to do is basically make an island uh, in the shape of a melon. Um, and on this island, I will hold all of my... Uh, a bunch of chests which hold all of my legitimate melons. So, I think here is a good place to start. Um, I don't know, I just, I thought it would be a really neat idea. I've never actually seen anybody uh, build an island in the shape of a melon before, and I like doing unique um, things to my world. Uh, so, yeah. So, the first block I need to place are the is the green trim. So, I've got a photo reference here. That's the first block. We'll just have to remember that. That is the foundation block. And now I'm going to go over to the right four. And I believe I need my light green wool to go there and then two blocks with the dark green I'm not sure what color I made that let me see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 and I said 20, yep so, now I have to go here, and there, and it should be two blocks and a middle block. 
and then two more blocks and then a light green block and then two four six uh, dark green blocks so two four six dark green blocks and then sort of like this I don't know how to explain this, just kind of a block a block. And then over on this side, we're not actually quite done. On this side, we have to go sort of like this, I think. Yeah, and then like that. And then I believe it's like this. So if I'm looking at it like that. Like that. So that's the trim of the melon. Or the outside, I guess. But I do have to fill in these parts. Uh, let me just see if I'm doing this correctly. Yes. Okay. Now, you might be wondering why on earth would I build a giant melon? Um, I don't know. It just kind of seemed cool to me at the time. And it still seems cool to me. So, I want to build it. Nothing you can say to change my mind. So now, I put three pink ones right here, I believe. Okay. Three more pink ones in the other corner. Right there, I'm thinking. Yeah, and where did these last two go? Ah, can't place them just yet. Got to place these blocks. These ones go uh, like this. And then the last two uh, pink blocks go like this. Okay, so now... Um, I got to use these red ones and then these can go there and can I fill those completely in? I can go like this. So now I'm supposed to go like this. Two blocks and then a brown block for the seeds and then connect this like so and next I start here and I go over three and place my new seed and go all the way back to this baby right there and because it's a diagonal line I'm supposed to connect them and no seed on this row for some reason probably to make it symmetrical uh, then another row and then another row without melons or without seeds sorry my bad and then two more and then another seed and then a little L type shape. And I've miscounted. And I'm now missing <sighs> one red block. So I'm going to get another red block, red wool block, and I'll be back in a second. Okay. Oh, sorry. My video's still playing. Um, I was watching a boat uh, dock tutorial because this is actually bringing my attention to a problem. I don't want to have to swim every time, and I don't want to make a bridge. So I'm thinking of making a boat dock here. And Exuma, or Exuma, I don't know, I don't know how to pronounce his name. Correct me on what it is. Uh, has a really great one. So this is my Melon Island. I love it. And basically, I'm gonna put chests on all these, uh, on a few of these sandstone blocks or whatever, or just place them wherever. Um, or what I was thinking of doing is actually replacing these sandstone blocks on one of the lines with stairs going down into a room full of chests. But um, for now, I'm not gonna. 
I want to know what you guys think. Should I make stairs going down or put them above? I think stairs going down personally, but um, you might have been wondering why I used um, gravel and not cobblestone. Because gravel is useful for arrows. Uh, well, the reason I actually used it, and I'll show you. is because of this. I wanted to get rid of the gravel very quickly and how you do that is you place this brick and you want to try and completely submerge the uh, uh, the torch. You want to try and surround it with a block that cannot be overflowed with water obviously. Um, However, this might be a little more challenging than I thought. I thought this was going to work a whole lot easier. And I guess we just have to do a bit at a time. Ah, so there we go. The gravel tower is done, and there is no water currents left. So, that's very quick and efficient and nice. So, um, yeah, this uh, beautiful melon island is done. I think it looks awesome, personally. I just think that looks great. I'd like to get a better view of it from fly mode, but fortunately, I don't have fly mod, or <clears throat> I'm not on creative, so I can't really, uh, can't really show you from above. So anyway, um, thank you all for watching. Let me know, what do you want me to do with this? Do you want me to put, like, stairs going down with the new half slabs? Like, put them down, well, not new, but, like, because it's sandstone, we can make it sandstone half slabs. Going down into, like, an under room of this, where I could have, like, glass panes, viewing, like, the squids flish around. Or, should I put, like, the chest up top? Do it boring. Yeah, that's what I thought. Anyway, let me know what you think. I'm going to put these torches here for now so nothing spawns. If you like this video, give it a like. If you dislike this video, dislike it. Do whatever you want because I'm not in control of your right life. Right, I was going to say rice. I just had rice. Rape, comment, subscribe. Yeah, don't rate this time. I want you to rape some bitches. Anyway, and if you're a lady, rape some man horse. Bye-bye!